Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas burrito. If you've never had one, you're going to be pretty excited because whether you like your red sauce or your green sauce, this is a dish for everybody. Now let's get started by making our shredded beef. To your pot of boiling hot water, you want to add your salt. It was boiling a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's just about. Okay. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add our pieces of chuck meat. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to add my onion and my garlic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue to boil this beautiful piece of meat for the next hour and a half to two hours just until everything tenderizes and it's ready to shred. What we have going on here is we're just boiling our New Mexico or Guajillo chiles, whatever you chose, with our onion and our garlic. So I'm just going to turn this off and let it cool so that I can blend it with the rest of our ingredients. To your chili blend, you're going to add one cup of chicken broth. And we're just going to blend this until it's completely liquefied. Uh, the Nutribullet has been blending this a lot better, so it's going to be up to you guys on how you blend and strain. Now that we have that blended, let's go ahead and get started on our red chili sauce. To your medium hot pan, you want to add some oil, okay? And then you're going to add your blended chili paste, and we're going to move quickly because it's going to get really loud and it's going to splatter a lot, so be careful. Come on, standby. I'm ready to run. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, but it wasn't that bad. I was expecting like when you throw water in fire. Well, it depends on how hot the pan is, so you got lucky today, girl. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have all seen how I get down to give you that good, glossy, delicious chili, whether it's in your enchiladas or for your other Mexican dishes. You guys know I have my techniques for you. Make sure you stir that oil and that chili paste well. Okay. Once you've combined your oil and your uh, chili paste, you're going to add half a can of your tomato sauce. Today I'm going to be using better than chicken bouillon. Looks like this, but friends, what I'm going to say is make it comfortable for your home. Don't worry, I left you guys a recommendation in the description area. So just continue to stir in here until all that uh, bouillon, whatever bouillon you use, has completely dissolved, okay? Okay, friends, if you find that your chilies are too spicy, um, you can add the whole can of tomato paste. And that should help you out just a little bit with the too much acidity or too much spice. That'll help you out. So once you've blended all your ingredients into your uh, chili sauce, I want you to taste it. When, you're, when you've achieved your desired uh, flavors, this is when you want to turn it off and you want to add your oregano, okay? You don't want to skip the oregano if you're going to be using shredded beef, okay? Because that really combines uh, those flavors well. Pretty amazing. So go ahead and just stir all that oregano in here and then set it to the side. So all I did was I placed our roasted chiles in a bag. You can wrap them with a, a warm towel, something like that will help them sweat. And, and it's easy for all the chili crust to come off. Would you say chili crust? Bro? I would call it a peel. The peel. <laughs> but crust sounds better. Yeah, so um, some folks get upset when I run it through uh, the sink. You can run it through the sink. You can just take your time and continue to peel your chile. It's going to be up to you. For me, I don't lose flavor just by rinsing it through the sink. But it's going to be up to you guys. So I'm just going to continue to peel these and get them ready for our sauce. For our green chili sauce, I chopped up half an onion. Now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my chilies. And that lovely juice. Okay. 
I'm gonna add my tomatillos. If you're allergic to tomatillos, you can keep them out. It's still gonna be delicious, okay? My bunch of cilantro. Yeah, I'm packing it. <laughs> and I'm gonna add one cup of chicken broth, okay? I'm gonna blend all these ingredients until it is uh, liquefied. Okay, now that we have this set, let's get started on our green sauce. To a medium hot pan, we're gonna add some more oil. Once your oil gets hot enough, you're gonna go ahead and be careful, of course, but we're gonna go ahead and add our green chili blend that we have going on, okay? Now we're gonna continue to blend our oil and our sauce together, okay? They're such pretty colors. Hmm? They look so pretty uh, next to each other. Yeah, they really do. So nice and flavorful. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your desired amount of chicken bouillon. And I will leave the recommendations in the description along with the ingredients, friends. Okay, now let's begin mixing all of this together. I'm still on a medium heat. That almost looks like a latte, like I want to do a leaf on there or a teddy bear. Oh wow, do you need to pick me up? <laughs> this, yeah. Once we're done stirring all our ingredients together, we're going to cook this for about five minutes. Remember, we didn't pre-cook our tomatillos, so we're going to allow them to cook in here, okay? So hang tight while this is ready. It's been five minutes and you can already see that deeper green color. That's because our tomatillos have cooked. Our sauce is very fragrant. It's delicious. So now I'm just going to set this to the side so that we can work on our filling. Not our fillings. Our filling for our Christmas burrito, okay? <laughs> Some people might still be in hey, their fillings hey. after the holidays. Yes. I hope you guys didn't get your fillings hurt over the holidays. You know? Hang in there. It'll be okay. To a medium hot pan, you're going to add your oil, okay? And don't be shy with your oil. You need it here. Once your oil gets nice and hot, you're going to go ahead and start sauteing your onions. And we're just going to saute them for about 30 seconds, okay? After 30 seconds, you're going to go ahead and add your shredded beef, or your chicken, or your ground beef, whatever you decide to make this with. It's pretty friendly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cook this for about four to five minutes just until our onions are soft and we get a good little sear on our shredded beef, okay? It's been four minutes, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add our garlic, okay? Give that a good stir. And now we're gonna add our pre-cooked potatoes. All I did was cut them up into little pieces Boil them for about 12 to 15 minutes. It's gonna depend on you. You don't want them to be mushy just until they're just right, okay? So now we're gonna add our potatoes. It smells so good in here, Mom. <laughs> it's about to yeah. smell even better. One of the reasons I like making my potatoes this way is because if you were to add them here and cook them and all that, they get really mushy and they lose their shape. I don't like them losing their shape, especially when it's in a filling. That's a good tip. You guys know I'm particular. <laughs> Nobody wants mashed potatoes in their burrito. Nope, you don't. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my ground cumin. Friends, you ask me a lot, where is the recipe and how much of this do I use? Open up the description area. If you guys are watching on TV, you gotta let me know uh, what you need from me, but everything you need is gonna be in the description area.
So this is the part where you make it comfortable for your home. Your kids like carrots, put them carrots. They like corn, add some corn. You like some zucchinis in here, add the zucchinis. But just remember, add the zucchinis after you add your potatoes, so that way they don't get mushy and soggy, and the kids won't run away. So you're saying this is a good time to trick them? Yes. <laughs> slip in the veggies? Yep, slip in the veggies. Our mom sometimes would chop up like spinach really, really like fine. You can even see it like in the naked eye. You'd need like a microscope to look through it. Mm -hmm. um, and she used to put it in our stuff so we wouldn't notice it was in there. Yeah, we didn't notice a lot of <laughs> things and now we're older and you see us being great foodies. Yep. We caught on to it though later. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue to cook this for about two or three minutes just until all the flavors have combined. We got a nice little consistency for our ingredients. And when you guys see me again, we're going to be warming up our tortilla. Okay, friends, time to warm up our tortilla. This is a cast iron I use to make the big burrito tortillas. And I end up using about 120 grams per, um, per tortilla to make it. But I'll link, I'll have it linked in the description for you guys on how to make the tortillas. One dozen, the five dozen with my mother. You guys know. It's kind of difficult to find some a bag or something to place the big ones in, so I had to fold them. That's why you guys see that. Don't worry, we will survive. We can make even bigger tortillas. <laughs> well, that's for our tortillas sobaqueras. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know that, it's tortillas that go all the way to your armpit, um, and those are super thin, light, just delicious. Yucky style. Yeah. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of your favorite cheese. Ooh, Raja got excited over that. <laughs> you get excited, baby? All right, you just want it to slightly melt. You don't want it to get too crispy on the bottom, so make sure that your heat's not way too hot, just enough to warm up your tortilla and melt your cheese. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys on the cutting board so we can fill this delicious burrito. Woo! All right, and you really wanna fill it. Don't be, don't be skimpy now, it's your family, okay? The quantity I gave you guys is good for about four um, humongous <laughs> burritos, okay? Let's go. Ready? Yes. Cloudy, ready? Fuse clubs, ready? Let's do this. Yum. Boom, ta-da. Ready? Yes. It's that sauce time. Woo! <laughs> yes, girl. Yes. And we're ready. We're ready for our Christmas burrito. This sauce is probably going to be one of the most delicious sauces you've ever had. Okay. Yes. Let's go a little more, right? Almost half, a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, cloud. There, now it's half. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting brave over here. Yum. How's that, friends? A little bit more honey in that green sauce. Ah, right yes, there, right there, right there, because I'm gonna eat some of that. <laughs> How's that? Yes. You know what song came to mind? Why don't you just meet me in the middle? That's right. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that deliciousness. I'm gonna go with the red first, because you guys know I'm a red aficionado. Really? <laughs> yes, you know how there's people that do like wine and stuff? I can tell you just by like ingredients if the red sauce is gonna be good or not. And I always gravitate towards green. That's your favorite color, honey? Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Right after you take the bite out of your red sauce, I want you to come back and let me know what you thought. Especially if you made it with the shredded beef. if you don't try the green one. Okay. I knew you were going to say something. Ahí está muy rico. A ver. 
But you know what? You've been spotting it over here. I'm going to get a good one, and I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to feed you, honey. Again? Okay. Well, you got a good tasting, pero quiero, quiero tu que comas, okay? Ahí vengo, ahí vengo, ahí vengo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Estoy bailando. <laughs> Estás bailando. Estás diciendo, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But with my knees. <laughs> What are you doing? Crazy things? Mm -hmm. mm. Girl. Mmm. Girl. Que sí? mm. I like food when you don't have to choose between anything. You just can eat the red and the green. I have a difficult time making decisions and this is just perfect. Decision fatigue is a real thing. Look it up. It, it is. I. You should tell everybody I'm not good. I'll make decisions, but I don't like to do it. I start counting down. You got three seconds, honey. You better choose. Um, the blue pill or the red pill? And that's why we're still waiting on, to figure out what we're going to do with your guys' merch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, we'll start the yeah. Friends, if you're going to try a recipe this holiday season, try the Christmas burrito. And after you try it, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Uh, <laughs> wow.